friends. Happy Monday. Welcome, welcome to Craft With Us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss B. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Winchester Public Library. Thank you for joining us today. For those of you who stopped in this morning and got our craft bags, thank you so very much. And for those of you who are who didn't but are still watching along, I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions to supplement things you have at home for the materials that were in our craft bags. So today, my friends, we're doing hand print spiders. So if you have our instructions, it's just one page this week. Let's get started. Let's check in on everything that we need. Most of these things you can definitely supplement from home. Nothing super duper fancy, nothing too unique. We need some glue. We've got the Elmer's white glue. A glue stick would work. But, you know, this one's just a little extra sturdy because we've got some yarn. So it's a little easier with the yarn. Okay. We've got some eyeballs. And then we've got some yarn. And then, my friends, we have two pieces of paper, an orange one, and a black one. And then from home, you'll need scissors. So make sure we have a grown up with us. If we're our young friends joining us, we need our grown up to help us with our scissors. And then we have a pencil. We're gonna do a little bit of draw. Okay, so let's get started and make our spooky spiders. Okay, all right. So first things first. So yeah, so parents, if you, you, can, um, you can do this with all white paper if you want and just, um, grab colored markers or pencils or something and have your kiddos color in, or you can do it all white and paint it. So pretty much anything you need. If you don't have yarn, that's okay. Use white paper for your background and use a marker to just draw in a spider web. You'll see what I mean as we go along. Okay, so here we go. First, we're gonna take our black piece of paper and we're gonna fold it like a little book, okay? We're gonna fold it in half one way like that, and then we're gonna fold it over on itself again, like that, and try to keep it as even as possible, because this is what we're gonna make our spiders out of. I know, right? We're gonna turn this square into a spider. Oh yes, we will, my friends. Okay, so here we go. And we wanna start with the folded piece on the bottom. We put our hand right over the piece that's folded, not over the piece that opens, over the seam, okay? So we're gonna trace our hand here. And if you want big spiders, maybe young friends, use your grown-up's hand. And if you want little spiders, maybe have your grown-up help you trace your own hand. Okay, so the bigger the hand, the bigger the spider. So you get to choose what size you want your spider to be, okay? I don't have anyone here with me, so I'm just gonna use my hand. All right. So here we go. You wanna to try to get as much of your hand on your paper as you can, but we don't use our thumb because we have one, two, three, four fingers and spider has eight legs. We've doubled up our paper. So this is all gonna turn into eight legs. Trust me, friends. Four plus four is eight. That's how we're gonna get our spider legs. All right, so try to get your fingers on the paper just like that and pick up your pencil, keep your thumb separate. And we trace our hand. Doesn't have to be perfect, my friends. Grownups, this is a great way to practice those motor skills with our younger friends. Let them try. The beautiful thing about a pencil is that if you don't like what you did, you can always erase it and try again. But here we go. So you can see, there are my fingers, one, two, three, four, right there. I'm gonna put my pencil down and pick up my scissors. So this is where we have our grown-up help us, okay? No matter who did the tracing, let's have our grown-up at least stand by while we do the cutting, okay? So we wanna keep the whole piece of paper together, okay? And we wanna cut on our lines, okay? There we go, cut around. And again, if it's not perfect, that's okay. If he's a little crooked, it'll just make him even spookier. So that's okay, no big deal. All right, so then we cut, 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 and keep your fingers along the bottom right there, out of the way of the scissor blade. There we go. And if you can't do this, if it's easier for you, young friends, if you're practicing, you're cutting with your grown-up's help, and if it's easier for you to cut off little pieces at a time and then go back and even it out, 
that's okay too. However you wanna practice your cutting is great. You figure out what works best for you. Okay. And now we keep going. There we go. All right. Almost done. All right. It look like a spider? Let's see. Okay. <gasps> Spiders! Look at that! And there's two of them! Look at that! Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we're gonna set those boys aside, or girls, those spider friends aside, and then we're gonna draw on our spider webs. Now, it is totally up to you how you want to do your spider web. And if you just want to freehand it and you don't want to draw on, that's okay. All right. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, it says black yarn. I gave you white. Sorry about that. I knew there was something I had to tell you, friends. Sorry about that. It's white yarn because it just shows up a little better against our spiders. All right. So here you go. So this is what my spider webs look like right there. I drew all my spider webs in the corners. It's again, it's up to you where you want to put your spider web, or maybe you want to draw a whole big spider web. That's fine too. Your choice, whatever you want to do. All right. So don't fall pencil. You stay there. All right. So now we get our yarn. Whoop. And again, it's up to you how you want to do it. I would suggest, friends, that you cut one long piece for your thread down the middle. I know spiders can do it in all one fell swoop. I don't know if I can do that. So we're going to have one that goes down and then three that go across, okay? And this is where we open up our glue, okay? So one thread and measure it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And then we open up our glue and we do a little, open it up a little more. There we go. And we drew a line. Again, more great motor skill practice, tracing a line. We're gonna get a little messy friends, but that's what crafts are for, right? And then we just push it down, trace it as best you can. If it's not perfect, that's okay. There we go. Got part one of our spider web. Oh, I'm about to lose my Google eyes. Can't do that. Oh my goodness, so many tangles. Okay, all right. So then we've got another piece. We cut that. And then pick up your glue again. And we trace. And we trace. There we go. And then we lay it down. And then. We trace it up. There we go. Oh, it's looking like a spider web, my friends. Okay. And then we do another one. And as we move up, if you did yours in the corners, your yarn will get a little smaller every time we do it because we're getting into a corner here. And if it hangs off the edge of the paper, that's okay. You can just trim it later. Okay go pushed it down pushing it down and then one more little guy okay so I'm only going to do one so that you see what it looks like because again I don't know what your spider webs look like maybe you made a big one maybe you made a bunch of teeny tiny ones it is totally up to you what you did oh see last one's a little small Glue, glue, glue. And just like whenever we glue, friends, we have to have a little patience with our glue and let it dry, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do a little trimming. Whoop, one, and two. Whoa, uh -oh. see, I wasn't patient, and now, my, now it's coming off. See, I didn't even listen to my own rules. All right, so I'm gonna be patient, and I'm gonna wait. So, all right. Now, 
we're gonna glue on our spider handprints. Now it's up to you, but I think it looks best. See, this is where my pinkies were, so these legs are a little smaller, so I wanna have them be the front of my spider. Okay, so I'm gonna turn them over. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, oh, I closed it up. There we go. And we trace our spider in the back. And if you don't wanna glue your whole spider down, that's okay. Maybe have a little bit of his arms or legs coming off the paper so you've got a little bit of a 3D effect. And then position it however you want because we should be able to fit two on here. And then we have our eyeballs. There we go. And there is our spider in a spider web. So there we go. All right, you've got room for another one if you want to. You can just do two, or maybe you did a whole big one. All right, there is our spooky spider for our last week of October, my friends. All right, as always, we love to see the creations that you've made. So please feel free to send any finished pictures to at WinPublib, and we'll happily post them, show them off on our Instagram page. We do love to see the crafts that you make. All right, my friends, so. This concludes Craft With Us for today. We will be back same time, same place next week with another fun craft. Who knows what it will be? But my friends, until then, as always, be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and wear your mask. I will see everyone very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.